What's up everybody, Chris Wild here with another video. This is a quick preview video before tonight's big game against the Green Bay Packers. It's the one and two Philadelphia Eagles against the three and zero Green Bay Packers at Lambeau Field on a short week. Now when this game came out, a lot of us already had this marked down as an L uh, just because it is a short week and the Eagles are traveling to Lambeau Field. I can't remember Aaron Rodgers ever losing to the Eagles. Um, and this was just going to be a tough game. Uh, I personally had it marked down as a W, but that was with a healthy team. And uh, what I expected this team to be is not as we sit here today. Um, the injuries, as we've known, have killed us the past two games. We've still been in each game, but we've been playing some pretty bad teams and losing to them. The Lions are a bad team. I think the Falcons are a very overrated and bad team, um, and we haven't been able to put them away. Now, this game coming up, we do get Alshon Jeffrey back. Uh, according to Doug Peterson, he's going to play more than just a limited role. Dallas Goddard should have a bigger role as well. Corey Clement is also going to be active tonight. He hasn't impressed me at all this year, so I don't think that makes that much of a difference. But the offensive philosophy in order to win this game has got to change. You need to commit to the run because Green Bay has a great defense and a great secondary. If you're going to win this game, you have to commit to the run. It starts with Jordan Howard. Doug, I don't. you got to just drop whatever... Uh, dislike you have for this guy. I don't know what he did to you, how he rubbed you the wrong way, but he is our most productive runner by far. Get him in a rhythm. He's a Pro Bowl running back. He's played Green Bay before. I said the same thing about the Lions. He's used to playing Green Bay. He's played at Lambeau Field a bunch since he's entered the league. Let this dude get the ball. And then after him, set up some screens for Darren Sproles. Get him involved in the game. He doesn't have to be your lead back, but get him involved in the game. And then throw in some Miles Sanders. I think this kid, I said it in my last video, you're putting a lot of pressure on this young rookie running back. So Jordan Howard is going to be a big key if the Eagles are going to win this game. Also, huge, huge thing, and this is in every game, but really in this one, you cannot turn the ball over. The Green Bay Packers lead the league in turnovers. They will hurt you if you turn the ball over. You cannot give Aaron Rodgers short fields. You can't do it. You've gotten away with it a little bit uh, with Matt Stafford and Case Keenum and uh, Matt Ryan. You cannot, you cannot give the Green Bay Packers a short field, so you cannot turn the ball over. No fumbles, no interceptions, no stupid shit. On the other end, the defense is going to have to find a way to get takeaways. You are going to have to find a way to make Aaron Rodgers make mistakes. This is a defensive line that has been underwhelming. I mean, that's an understatement. Two sacks in three games. Last game, Matt Stafford on a white jersey, and it was clean at the end of the game. I mean, it's just, it's really, uh, for what we're used to seeing from a defense, it's just unacceptable, absolutely unacceptable. Our secondary is now down another player. Might be addition by subtraction, because now Rasul Douglas and Sidney Jones, you guys are playing the whole game. There's going to be no substitute now. You're going to show whether you got it or you don't got it. We're going to know. And you guys haven't played well uh, so far this season. That might have to do with no pressure on the quarterback. So they've got to find a way to get pressure on the quarterback. If you're going to blitz Jim Swartz, please make it a little bit creative. Anderson Dejo uh, is not doing it. I mean, send send somebody different through there. I do not want to see him running with his hands down uh, when I can run faster in on a blitz. So make that a little creative. But you guys get your backs against the wall. Um, we're, like I said, we're staring down a 1-3 and three record um, right now. And it's just something that uh, is going to be very hard to dig ourselves out of. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, I'm trying to put throw some positivity in here. Again, uh, this is a pressure situation. These guys are going to, they know what they're getting themselves into. Hopefully Green Bay um, might overlook the Eagles a little bit because of the record and the way they've played and the injuries and the fact that Green Bay's 3-0. and um, You can only hope that, uh, you know, they're ready for a letdown game. Um, you know, it's been, this has been a really, it's a short week for the Eagles, uh, but man, it's been, I don't know about you guys, but it's been a real long week for me when the Eagles lose on Sunday, especially the way they lost. Uh, man, it's just, it's just been a long couple weeks. Uh, I could really use an Eagles win personally uh, tonight. I know we all could. Um, let's hope that they get this thing going. Let's hope Alshon Jeffrey, uh, really, his addition helps out. Hopefully the, the wide receivers are going to play some inspired football after they really let down Carson Wentz last week and the week before. Um, I mean, it's time, man. It is time to wake up. Fletcher Cox, wake up. Get involved. Defense, wake up. That's That's... That's the theme of this week. That's the theme of this video. Wake up. Wake up, offense. Wake up, Doug Peterson. It's time to play. It is week four, Lambeau Field. Doug Peterson, get hype. 
You're returning to Green Bay, a place that you that you played for eight seasons. Make your mark. Show, and it's on national TV. Show the world that you guys aren't pushovers. That it's not that this team isn't just one of those teams that looks great on paper and then ends up being a dumpster fire. Let Let's wake up. Let's get the ball started. If you can get somehow steal a win tonight, you're two and two. You got the Jets coming in next week, and now we're talking. You go to one and three, and it's going to be historically hard for you to climb yourselves out of that. So come on, guys. Wake up. Go, Birds.